let us hear how you got into the whole real estate thing because you had a solid job. Engineers, they get paid really well, but you said you weren't passionate about it. So what made you get into real estate? I think just seeing <clears throat> all these big developers and people, you know, coming in, building all these shopping centers, like doing hotels and and none of them were local. And so I was like, man, we're doing these million dollar projects for all these other people. Why can't we do that? Why can't I be the change? I grew up in low income housing. I know there's a housing crisis. How can I be a solution? And every day I would come home from work, I would be dead tired. I would just lay on the couch. My husband can tell you I would lay there and just I would need so much time to decompress because it's so much brain work that I wasn't really present with my family. And so just recognizing that and seeing like, okay, my mom wasn't really there, you know, for us because she was working so many jobs, but I'm working one job and I come home and I'm still not present because I'm having to decompress so much that that was the wake up call that I needed. And my husband you know, pointed out like they're getting the best of you and we're getting the rest of you. Mm. How is that fair? And so for me, I was like, I took a step back and not just thought about me. I thought about, okay, how is this affecting my family or my husband who is, you know, has his own company, has his own employees, but he's still coming home, sh picking up the kids, showering them, cooking dinner and, and doing all these things that I as a partner need to be helping out with as well. So from there, he was like, you know, I'll support us. Well, if you want to quit your job and figure out something else to do, I'll support us until you do. But we need you here. And so I think that was a pivoting moment for me mm -hmm. when I realized I got to do something different. And I was already familiar with real estate, not flipping homes or rentals or anything on a larger scale. So I just started, you know, Googling like any other person, like, how to quit my job and get rich. Mm. <laughs> and so <laughs> how to quit right? a job. So literally, I was I was Googling it and then a lot of topics came up, but it said like 90% of millionaires are made through real estate. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, it was so hard for us to buy our home together. And we bought a fixer upper, not intentionally, but we knew we couldn't afford, you know, at that time, a $4,000 mortgage. So we bought a fixer upper. We just slowly, you know, put money into it. And we were able to refinance out of it, get all our money back. It's called the Burr strategy. So B-R-R-R-R, -R -R -R, maybe there's more R's. Mm -hmm. But you buy something, you renovate it. Um, typically, you'll rent it out, but then you're able to refinance it. And if you buy it low enough, you're able to refinance all your money back out. Mm -hmm. So we were able to do that and then also get a HELOC, a home equity line of credit of 100000 And so from there, we just started figuring out a lot of financing and loan options that we never even knew before. And I think that was a game changer for me to know, oh, this is possible. And as I researched, I read so many books, I listened to so many podcasts mm -hmm. about real estate. I uh, just really started to wrap my head around, okay, this is possible. And how are all these other people doing it? Listening to their stories like we're sharing now of they started with nothing. So how do they own all this real estate? Mm -hmm. And the key was they were leveraging debt. So they weren't scared when we're brought up, you know, we're scared of debt. Like, no, nope, mm -hmm. don't get a credit card, you know, pay everything cash and you don't want to fall behind or go through foreclosure. And a lot of my family members went through foreclosure in the last recession. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are scared of, you know, overspending. But at the same time, you there's a difference between good debt and bad debt. And I think once you realize that, you know that you can have bad debt as long as there's income to offset it. And even so, you don't want to be over leveraged. So I think just understanding finances in general mm -hmm. helped me to kind of understand how I could get into real estate. 